Just FYI, this post is, oh my gosh, okay, I have to stop saying post, okay. Kind of unconventional advice regarding Recording, okay. This post, oh my gosh, I keep saying post because I've never done a video before, okay. It's always nice to have an extra silicone link, link? Hi, I'm Lisa Childs. Welcome back to Tried, Tested, and True Instant Pot Cooking. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you 11 of the best instant pot accessories to buy and avoid, plus my weird advice regarding instant pot accessories. Really quick, if you don't have an Instant Pot, make sure you check out my video on which Instant Pot to buy and that will help you get started. If you have already gotten your Instant Pot, make sure you watch my video on how to get started with your Instant Pot or my 26 tips, tricks, hacks, and facts about your Instant Pot. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment below if you have any questions regarding Instant Pot accessories. Okay, let's get started. All right, guys, let's just talk about Instant Pot accessories today. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, Lisa, I just got an Instant Pot. What accessories do I need to buy? I'm going to admit that I did not buy my first Instant Pot accessory for almost a year after I had it. I just improvised, I used what I had, and I did just fine. So don't think that you have to go out and buy all this stuff right away. Just FYI, this video is not sponsored by any of these brands or products that I'm going to mention. I've used these products myself, I've purchased them myself, and I'm just going to tell you what I love and what to avoid. So in this video, I'm going to tell you my 11 most favorite Instant Pot accessories to buy, and then at the very end, I'll tell you which ones to avoid, and also my weird advice regarding these Instant Pot accessories. Okay, ready for number one is the Instant Pot Trivet. This is by far the most important Instant Pot accessory that you'll ever have, and that's why it's free since it comes with every single Instant Pot that you buy. So the trivet is just this little metal rack, and it sits on the bottom of your Instant Pot liner, and this is what keeps food off the bottom of the pot. Since you always need to use liquid when you're cooking with your Instant Pot, it's important sometimes to keep things out of the liquid. Otherwise, it will get soggy or it will deteriorate in your liquid. Also, I'm gonna give you just a couple pros and cons for each of these accessories, but you can read the full post on my blog at triedtestedandtrue.com with all this information plus a little bit more. Some of the uses for the trivet is to put hard boiled eggs on top of the trivet if you don't have like a basket or a net. You can put vegetables or large pieces of meat that you don't want sitting in your cooking liquid. Also, you can use it for pot in pot cooking, which you can read about on my website. So like I mentioned below, the trivet is incredibly important, which is why it comes with every Instant Pot purchase, but you can purchase a taller trivet like this um, just like on Amazon or any other retailer, it's a little bit taller and so if you have things that are larger sitting on the bottom of your pot, you can do two things at once but have a little bit of extra space. Next up is the steamer basket. This steamer basket is my favorite Instant Pot accessory and if you were to buy only one, I would suggest this one. I recommend the steamer basket only because it's the most versatile, it's the most practical, you get the most bang for your buck, and you can do the most things in your steamer basket. I like this basket in particular because it doesn't have the silicone feet on the bottom of the basket. That just sits in your cooking liquid and it can get like bacteria and germs in there. It's kind of gross. And so I don't like that with those other baskets. Also, this one is dishwasher safe, it's rust free, and it has a lifetime guarantee. So I love this basket. I've been using it for over two and a half years and it still looks brand new. I use my steamer basket for broccoli, corn on the cob, salt potatoes, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, like the list goes on and on. So I actually have a post on my blog called 12 ways to use an Instant Pot basket. So go and check that out on my website if you like and I'll link that below. Also, the last thing I love about this basket is I can make over two dozen eggs in one basket and it's so easy. I just stick it in, take it out, run it under cold water and I can even just leave this in the fridge so it's really practical. All right, number three is this steamer net. This is actually the first Instant Pot accessory I bought because it was like $6 on Amazon 
and I didn't know exactly what I should get first, and this seemed like a low risk investment. So I actually really like the steamer net because it's flexible, not like the steamer basket where you can't like, you know, move it. But I actually like this best as a better alternative of the trivet in my three quart instant pot. So as you can see, this is my steamer basket and it doesn't fit in my three quart instant pot. And the trivet that comes with my three quart instant pot is really small and it has really large holes in it. So if I wanna put like broccoli or any type of vegetable in it, it falls through the grate really quickly and I don't like that because I don't want it to get soggy. So I like using this little steamer net and it fits perfectly in there. I can kind of just push it down. It's flexible and it's really cheap. So this is what it looks like in the three quart instant pot. You can see that it's not like a super perfect fit, but it works a lot better than the trivet. And I use this in my six quart instant pot occasionally when I want to lift something out like a large spaghetti squash or something like that. Number four is this silicone pressure cooking sling. Now I would use my blue pressure cooking net for like lifting out a cheesecake or lifting out um, something like a pot and pot thing. But this tool is actually specifically designed for that because it has a really heavy duty flat bottom. So you can see it stays pretty flat, which I really like. You would use this tool whenever you're using anything that's a pot in pot instant pot recipe. So say like a chocolate lava cake, I put my meatloaf on here, a cake pan, anything that you need to kind of have a little bit of help lifting in and out of the pot. This is an Ecovana cheesecake pan and it is so high quality. It is so good. This is the best product on the market in my opinion. I research like crazy when I'm trying to find something where I'm going to be spending my money because I want to get the best product at the best price and this is the smartest product on the market. This is a push pan, which I prefer to a spring form pan for reasons you can read on my cheesecake post, but the bottom comes up like this so you can push your cheesecake out and I've had this for kind of a long time but it hasn't warped at all. Some cheesecake pans, the bottom can warp, and so then you'll get leaks, and it just, it doesn't work. It's a waste of money. So I really like this pan because it has specifically a handle built into the pan. This makes it really easy for when you wanna lift your cheesecake out of the pot, because otherwise you have to have another pan, you have to put it in something else, or you need to make a sling out of foil, and a lot of people have dropped their cheesecakes or ruined them, because of using this method and I just think, just buy this pan, it is way easier. The only con is that I don't really have a lot of uses for this besides making cheesecake. Next up are glass ramekins. I love these just for everyday use in my kitchen. I have like a million of these in my pantry because like, I mean, look at them, they're so cute. I use them to put like small portions of food in, like a fruit salad next to lunch. I put, you know, sauces in them. I use these every single day. But I use them in my Instant Pot because you can cook pot and pot in them and they're safe, they're glass, they won't break, and they're just so cute. A couple things you can make in these are like a cracked egg, you can make a steamed or poached egg. I like making chocolate lava cakes in them. You can make individual meatloafs in them. They're just so convenient for everyday kitchen use and for instant pot cooking. Oh, also you can use them for creme brulee, which is the best dessert ever. All right, next up are the silicone muffin tin liners. These are actually for use in the oven. You just fill them up with like cupcake or muffin batter and so they're like reusable, they're dishwasher safe, and they're really convenient for just everyday use. But I like them for instant pot cooking because they're flexible, they're reusable, and I can use them to make my little meatloaf cupcakes, to make individual make-ahead egg bites. They're just really convenient. So I know they also sell those egg molds, those egg bite egg molds egg bite mold on Amazon, and a lot of people have those. However, I just like using the silicone muffin tin liners because then they're multi-use. Like, you can't use those other tools to make cupcakes or muffins in your kitchen. I just like these because you can get more bang out of your buck, and I'm all about that. 
I also use them in like lunch boxes or snack um, Tupperwares for my kids to just do individual snacks in each one. So they're like multi-useful and that's why I like them. All right, the next thing I'm going to talk about is an extra ceiling ring and a silicone lid for your Instant Pot. It's always nice to have an extra silicone ring for your lid because if one of them is dirty, if one of them smells bad, yeah, you can use a different one that's clean and you don't have to wait for it to be done cleaning. I also love having these silicone lids for your Instant Pot liner. All you do is put it on top, oh, like this, of your Instant Pot liner and you can store the leftovers, you can marinate stuff in it and they're just like really nice to have. On the same note, I also really love having an extra Instant Pot liner. These are like 30 bucks or so and it's so nice to have because a lot of times I'm cooking multiple things at once and if one of them's being used, one of them's in the dishwasher or one of them's in the fridge, I can use another liner to cook another thing. If you use your Instant Pot a lot like I do, this is a necessity. Some people really like to get a glass lid for their Instant Pot because you can use it for recipes that don't require pressure cooking. I personally like to use a glass lid for when I'm making yogurt just so I can kind of see it and I don't have to worry about my Instant Pot lid transferring any smells. And so I like the glass lid for that. You can buy a glass lid from Instant Pot themselves but it's like a glass lid that says Instant Pot on it, so it costs $15. And so I actually just use a regular pot or pan lid that fits one of my other pans, and it fits perfectly on top of my Instant Pot liner like this. So before you buy one, I would just recommend that you go into your cupboards and just test a couple lids and see which one fits your Instant Pot. I happen to have two that already fit mine, so I didn't have to buy one, but if you want one that says Instant Pot, you can go buy one. Now we've made it to the part where I tell you the Instant Pot accessories that I would personally avoid. Now, I wouldn't personally recommend these things, but if you have one or all of these items, I'm not going to judge you, we can still be friends. I just personally don't see value in them, but if they do for you, I'm so happy for you. Just please don't um, burn me in the comments. The first thing I don't necessarily recommend buying are those Instant Pot accessory kits. You'll see these on Amazon all over the place because everyone is selling them. I don't recommend these kits unless you absolutely know every single item in your kit is useful and how and when you're going to use it. Otherwise, I think they're severely overpriced and really low quality. So I've actually been given several of these kits to try out and to test and review, and I have sent literally all of them back. And the next time someone asked me to review their set that they were selling of Instant Pot accessories, I asked them, what makes your kit better or different than everything else that's out there? And the poor, dear, honest, wonderful man on the other side of the email responded and said, Honestly, we all source our products from the same factory, so everyone's bundles are just mixed and matched differently, and there's not really anything different about mine. So that kind of turned me off, and I just felt like everything was kind of low quality, so that's why I prefer using the things that I already have, or that are useful for other things, or that are high quality and are worth investing a little bit more in. Next up are these trivets that you can buy that are labeled as egg, like, what are they called? They're labeled as hard boiled egg racks, which there's nothing different about this and the trivet that it came with for free. Okay, the last Instant Pot accessory I wouldn't necessarily recommend are those little magnet cheat sheet timetable things that they sell on the internet. I would only purchase one from someone who I know or someone that is a food or Instant Pot vlogger or someone who you really trust because every single one of those little timetable things like those magnets and I just I just don't trust them. I've never seen one that has everything like 100% accurate in my opinion. Okay, so what do you think? Did I totally mess that up? Do you agree with me? Do you not? Let me know in the comments below. 
This is my weird advice regarding Instant Pot accessories. I get a lot of emails, comments, direct messages, just questions in general from people saying the exact same thing. They say, Lisa, I just bought an Instant Pot and I don't know what to do, I don't know where to start. Tell me what accessories I need to buy. And I tell them the same answer every single time, which is nothing. Now you might think that's weird because I just gave you like 10 Instant Pot accessories that I really love and use, but here's the reason why I don't recommend brand new Instant Pot owners to buy a bunch of accessories. First, you need to figure out your Instant Pot and use it. There is no sense in buying a whole bunch of stuff if you're not even going to use your Instant Pot. So get this thing out, use it, start getting to know it. Once you use it regularly, then you'll know which accessories to buy. If you find yourself making a lot of vegetables or if you want to make desserts, you're feeling more confident and you want to make a cheesecake, then you'll know that you want a steamer basket or that you want a cheesecake pan. And in the meantime, you can improvise with so many things. Honestly, I just am so frugal that I hate wasting my money and I think that using what you have, using things that are functional, practical, and that can be used in more than one instance are the best way to go. And I forgot my last Instant Pot accessory. This is kind of a bonus, but this is a flat whisk. And I love using this in my Instant Pot because see how it's flat on the bottom? You always need to deglaze things when you're using your Instant Pot so it doesn't burn on there. So say you've seared a piece of chicken and now there's a whole bunch of yummy goodness on the bottom of the pot, you need to deglaze that flavor with a little bit of broth or water or something like that. And you want to be sure to scrape that off the bottom of the pot. Now the Pioneer Woman told me to get this like years ago when she said it was her favorite tool and now this is honestly one of my favorite tools and I use it all the time in Instant Pot cooking, cooking on the stove, just in general and baking and everything so I love using this as well. Alright everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my video on the best Instant Pot accessories to buy and avoid. I'm really grateful that you're here. Make sure that you like and comment on this video if you have any questions or comments. And also please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video, especially the new ones in my Instant Pot 101 series. You can find all of my recipes and my blog post talking about all of these Instant Pot accessories, plus the pros, the cons, and the uses, and links to recipes for specifically using these accessories on my blog at triedtestedandtrue.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Instant Pot Cooking and make sure that you subscribe so we can see you next time. All right, see you guys, thanks.